Hey guys, I'm Joey. Welcome back to Over the Table's Random Reviews. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you take a second and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future videos, the giveaway I'm doing at 1,000 subscribers, or the 100th video, which is going to be amazing. You don't want to miss out, and it's coming up soon. Now, today's product, what we've got is a knife sharpener. I did tell you about it when I unboxed the keychain key knife. And here it is, the knife sharpener. We're going to test it out on a couple of the knife products that we've gotten so far. And we're going to see if it really can sharpen up a knife, maybe even make it razor sharp. We're going to find out, so let's open it up. All right, guys, so this thing comes in pretty basic standard eBay packaging. We're going to use the $1 keychain key knife in order to open this thing up. Now, if you do want to check out any of the videos on the knife products you see in this video, you can check that out in the description, and I will also have cards that pop up to send you right to that video so you guys can watch those if you do like any of the products. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Here we are. So it does come in another plastic bag, which is nice. Good protection there. All right, and we should slide right out. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. It's a plastic construction. It does not come in multiple colors. It does just come in the black version. According to the product, it's got a ceramic sharpener, a carbide sharpener, and a diamond head sharpener. Whether that has real diamonds on it or not is a good question, but it does seem pretty high quality. Let's see, it swings out as such and that's used to sharpen things it's pretty sturdy and you know it does move around a little bit as you can see but snaps into place snaps back into place pretty nicely now this thing does have a hole here so you can loop it around some sort of lanyard or rope or keychain possibly to be able to have this thing on the go for easy storage and easy portability and the construction is pretty solid you can drop this thing all over the place it's not going to break which is great so I guess the only thing really left on this product is to go ahead and test it out. Now remember, this product is only $2 on eBay. I'll put that link in the description for you guys if you want to get your own sharpener. And if it does work out well, I would suggest getting it. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. So for a good baseline test, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the paper test to test the sharpness of this knife. We're going to start with the keychain key knife and we're going to see what kind of sharpness it has. As you can see, not a lot. It's tearing more than it's cutting. It's kind of half tearing, half cutting. It's not the sharpest of knives. Let's go ahead and use the ceramic edge and see if we can sharpen her up. Now you don't want to go both ends. You don't want to drag it back and forth. You just want to start on one end, pull it through. Not too much pressure, but not too little pressure. Just enough to really get that tapered end to really sharpen up your blade. All right, let's see if we've made any progress. I would say that is already progress. We're doing it on the ceramic for now. We might move on to the carbide. If we can possibly get a sharper edge from it, we will see how razor sharp we can get. It is sharper. I mean, it wasn't, be able, it wasn't able to do that before. So let's move on to the carbide, see if we can possibly get a more razor type edge. Ooh, there's a lot more grinding going on. You want to make sure you're as centered as possible so that way the tapered end goes nice and center on your blade here. You also want to make sure you're level with the table. You don't want to be going up and down at an angle. You want to make sure you're level here instead of up there like that or down there like that. So let's see if we did possibly get a sharper edge out of that. Oh yes. As right, so you could see from where it started off, we're now at this point where it's slicing through with actually a pretty decent edge. It's not razor sharp by any means, but fingernail test, it grabs on pretty decent. And just so you guys know that it isn't razor sharp. I mean, it's close to razor sharp. I can feel it yanking, but it is not razor sharp. There you go guys, as you can see, it slices through much better. This knife has definitely been sharpened. Now that's with a pretty typical blade, and now that knife is sharpened. 
And again, if you want to check out this knife, you can check out the review of it right up there for you guys if you do think this is a cool product and it's only a dollar. Now the next knife we're going to be sharpening up here is the $1 credit card knife. So this has a thinner edge on it so it might be interesting how it sharpens up so let's give it a nice baseline test. Ooh, You can see the difference. Look, that thing slices through like butter. Oh my, is this thing already razor sharp? Oh yes. Oh yes it is. Guys, if you if you can see this, this is this is my hair coming off. Wow. I haven't even sharpened it yet. Come on now. The $1 credit card knife is shipped to you razor sharp just so you guys know. Look look at this. That's my that's my arm. That's my hand coming off. That is fantastic. I have a beautiful bald spot in the middle of my hand now because I didn't think it was already razor sharp. But can we possibly make it any sharp? How the heck? How did it get so sharp? What in the world? I mean, I guess we'll try to make it sharper, but I really don't want to do much to it. We'll give it some light movements on the ceramic. It seems to be the most mild of the sharpening materials. I believe the diamond tapered one is the most rough. All right, did a little bit of work there. I don't, I don't even know if we should mess with it though. Uh oh. Now. Nah. Uh oh. Because as you can see, it's not making as clean of cuts anymore, and it's no longer as razor sharp. It's not really taking off very much hair. So let's go ahead and try that carbide. Hopefully we've gotten some of it back. We're about to find out. I mean, that sure looked pretty easy to me. Still not razor though. Unless it is, we're about to find out. It is no longer razor sharp by any means at all. What that tells me is this $1 credit card knife Excellent product because it does come to you already sharpened. The keychain key knife did not come already that sharp, and this product did in fact sharpen it enough so that way it did add a better edge onto this. But when it comes to really thin blades, paper thin like this blade, this sharpener is not going to give you a good edge because it's just too angled inward on the blade and it creates too big of an angle on your edge and it just doesn't get that razor sharpness that you need. But it's good news for this product because it does come razor sharp. If you want to see the video review of this $1 credit card knife, you can check that out right up there. So I think this concludes our review of the $2 knife sharpener. Obviously I didn't use the diamond tapered one, that's more for larger blades. but. I'm sure it does pretty much the same thing as the other ones, just a nice rough edge there. I would suggest getting this product if you do have a really dull knife and you are desperate for a knife sharpener, but if you already have decently sharpened knives, then you're wasting your time because this product will not really make them that much sharper. It obviously dulled out the $1 credit card knife, not necessarily dull, but took away its razor edge. So that is the $2 knife sharpener. I hope you guys enjoyed the video review of this $2 knife sharpener. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for lots of future videos, the giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, or the 100th video, which is going to be absolutely amazing. If there's anything else you want me to do with this or any of the knives, go ahead and comment below. Have a great day, everybody, and don't get shot.